Hey everybody, welcome back to MTG Spec. This is Tom. Uh, today we're going to talk about building the perfect murder kit. Well, uh, what is a murder kit? It's the kit you take with you to the tournament. A lot of people will just like have like a, a you know full suitcase or like a tackle box for their tokens, and you know a valet service to take their eight backpacks of trade binders. I don't do any of that stuff when I go to tournaments. Now, I'll, I'll, uh, let's first though, let's take a look at some of the great uses for uh, the fat pack boxes. So obviously you can fill it with cards. Um, that is a lot of dice masters. Thank you, Amanda Waller. All right. Um, so you can fill it with cards. Of course, that's what it's designed for. Or you can put three decks in there. Nice. Or you could put two oversized decks in there. Or you could, if you remove the cardboard that's on the top of the fat pack boxes or bundle boxes, whatever you call them, you can actually put these old school uh, leather uh, boxes for your commander decks. Um, these are perfect size. They the commander decks fit perfectly in there. Super awesome magnetic seal. However, the new ones have like this weird. Instead of one flap that goes down, they have like a triple flap that like wraps all the way around. Those suck. Those won't actually fit in here. But look at look how tight that fit is. Look at that. Ah, barely comes out, but it's perfect. But yeah, you just gotta basically just dig in there, get this thing out. Otherwise, it will scrape your lovely pleather items. So. Or, okay, now we get to the main event. So this is literally all I bring to a tournament. It has everything. I'll show you. Let's walk through. What is this? Well, this is a uh, red pillowcase. I like to tell people I got this from Star City Games uh, as like a, a winner's prize, but, you know, it's... Um, it's nice. Take it from somebody who routinely has to wash the gaming tables at an LGS. They are the filthiest places on earth. Uh, I, I know the, uh, the mouse pad style mats are really cool and they look neat, but you can't really run them through the wash many times without them fraying. And if you don't wash them, let's face it, they, they look like a, a brown UPS truck underneath. They're disgusting. Anyway. So I use a pillowcase after a tournament, I wash it, fold it back up, pop it in there. All right. So let's take out all the components. Obviously you're going to want, uh, some dice and, uh, you know, these make having different shape ones are good for different things. Like, you know, if it's just a, a plus one, plus one counter or something like that, you can throw that in there. They actually did make a poison counter die. That's rare to come up, but those are kind of cool. Planar die, if somebody's playing plane chase and somehow they forgot their die. Also makes a good just rando, you know, this creature has a minus one, minus one, or a plus one, plus one counter. And then you're going to want some nice spin downs. And I always bring multiples. Also, don't forget, you're going to want at least one regular D20 in your box. Because, let me find, where's the 20 face? There it is. So 20, the opposite side of 20 is one. All right. That's how you know it's randomized. 19, the opposite side of 19 has to be two. All right. So if you're rolling for, for who goes first, you're going to want something actually randomized. A spin down counter. What's the, uh, okay. Well, there's the, uh, from the vault lore. What's the opposite of that? Okay. Well, that is actually one, but then 19 was that one. That one's five. All right. So, and then 18, four. So it doesn't work. It's not truly randomized. Not, not enough to roll for roll for position anyway. And I always bring like a cruddy kind of this janky, stupid one. I don't really like with like a boring color, um, to give, to give to some kid who's having their first tournament, you know, cause why not? You gotta be magnanimous, magnanimous in this world. So that, oh, and this is a 50 count, uh, two piece card box. Blammo. That fits right in there. All right. We're doing good so far. All right. Then of course, obviously 
need your deck box and your 40 sleeves. Uh, I like the anime girls. Why not? Um, so you got 40 sleeves in there. Um, how great is this Relic Knights art, by the way? This box is freaking awesome. Love this girl. Um, anyway, so you want a fun deck box and bloop, that goes in there. Now, you know, just a quick side note. A lot of people complain when they buy like a hundred pack of sleeves. It's like, well, this is like the hot dog and bun situation. And they're right to a degree. But, you know, if the typical magic deck is 60 cards and it's 40 for any pre-release or draft event you ever go to, are you really going to waste any cards? I don't think so. All right, next, you want a little thing for your lands. I use a hundred count box for that. And I always put a little, uh, some kind of weird token at the bottom so that they can pop out because otherwise the suction gets there. So I used, uh, man, I wish I still had the original Zendikar, but anyway, the Battle for Zendikar lands. So here's what I did. One, two, three, four. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 of each. I did 17 of each because uh, that's enough to run a mono-white 40-card uh, deck. The The typical rule of deck building, if you're doing a 40-card a deck, is, um, you know, maybe like, that's like 40% land or something like that. But um, I just do the, uh, what was it, 17, 17, 6 rule. You can laugh at me if I got my math wrong. It's been a while since I've actually gone to a tournament. Two years, in fact. But um, but yeah, so 17 lands is about the most you'd ever want. So this way, if you have to run monocolor, you can. But, um, you know, you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> Gives you options. And if you since you have a 100 count thing, check it out. Guess what fits in the empty space? About three draft packs worth of rares and, and commons and uncommons. And again, if you got too many, give them to a kid. But, uh, you know, who's just starting out, give them your commons and uncommons and rares if you can afford it. But, um, yeah, the, you, typically the extras that you get can fit in there. Maybe not a pre-release so much, but draft almost always. And that just slides right in there. Perfect. All right. And then... You know, not everybody has access to these. I work at a WPN store, so I like having little magic sheets um, for keeping score. And you can, they're front and back, so, you know, you can you can get a lot of use out of these. But you just need a couple. Any any kind of paper will do. And those I slide right in the back. Funk. Nice little blue pen, because black ink pens are for losers. Funk. All right. There it is. That's it. So that is... The murder kit, and then if you fold up your pillowcase correctly, fits right in there, folds over the top. It looks like it's going to be humongous, but it packs down almost flush. That's the only. That's the only. Uh, that's the only complaint I guess I have. Could be more flush, but yeah, this is all I ever take in. You know, it's um, you want an older kind of distinct fat pack box if you got one, so you don't get uh, confused with that pack box from somebody in the hoi polloi but yeah that is the perfect murder kit so how many of you guys are going to a or have already gone to the uh kamigawa and neon dynasty event that's what's got me thinking about the murder kit i might i might go i'm thinking about it okay bye